Hey everybody, it's Lisa with Hawkins Joyful Bees. Well, today I'm in a full bee suit. I'm out here at, at one of our beehives and I get to help the beekeeper today. I guess it's just today I get to be the, the help mate. So I figured if I'm going to be in a bee suit, I'm going to sparkle doing it. So I put on pink sparkly earrings. <laughs> Now all I need is some pink sparkly boots because I have black boots on. Uh, is it, you know, I, I wear a full body suit when I get in the bees because I have a tendency to have a little bit of a nasty reaction. Um, but anyway, we're out here and I'm going to walk you up to our beehives and I'm going to kind of let Shane explain to you what we're doing today. I will tell you, he really is the best beekeeper. The, the man is just, he's a great teacher. He really is. So I want to thank you for those that have subscribed to our Hawkins Joyful Bees channel. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and follow along with our family's journey um, on beekeeping. And in the meantime, you really do get to learn a lot about bees. I learn a lot about bees. I'm not in the hive very often. Um, but when I do help him, I really do a lot, uh, learn a lot. Now, I don't actually really get in, get in the hives. Um, I can get in and tell you some basic things about them, but he's the beekeeper. So I'm just kind of there to be the extra hands and feet, and I'll be the one holding the pom-poms cheering him on <laughs> with my pretty sparkly pink earrings. You know, got to sparkle, just saying. All right, here we go. Let's go up here and see what all he has to say today because we've been here for a little while and I've waited for a little bit because um, he's going to be here for a while. I think the other day he was at my mom's house for like four hours and I don't know how the man does it. <sighs> to be honest with you, I don't know how he does it. Um, it's a lot of hard work, a lot of heavy lifting and very time consuming and I just... He just keeps going and just watching him wears me out. But here we go. We get to go up here and play in bees. I walk up here and she says, stay bud. And I look and there's a, a honeybee on my phone. And I'm sure if you're a beekeeper, you already know this. Bees hate phones. I don't know why, but they hate my phone. I'm not holding it with bare hands. <laughs> Great thing about a galaxy, you get a pen. So here comes Shane. I'm gonna let him tell you why he's walking over here. He's probably made them mad. They don't like it when uh, Shane gets too busy in their hives. They get a little ticked off at him. All right, Mr. Beekeep. Okay. What do you got to say? Oh, so... oh, look at all the bees. I've got Ooh. the bees pretty ticked off. Oh, y'all, they just, mm. Yeah. I, there's probably 30 bees that just so attacked my, my phone. So my jeans I have on are lined. They're insulated. Because oh, I knew Jesus. I was going to be doing some pretty major business with the bees and probably ticking them off pretty good. I don't want to, I didn't, I got a full body suit, but I didn't want to wear it. I still like the jacket. So I just put these insulated pants on. They keep me from getting stung on the legs. That's a little intimidating. I'm just saying. Yeah, so Look at all the... The moment you walked over here, like 30 bees hit oh, my phone. No, they're all over the place over there. You can't see them from here, but they're everywhere over there. They're all over you. So I, I'm i doing some readjustments. i got to go back to the car, and I'm going to take some notes. I'm going to let the bees calm down a little bit. <laughs> my smoker little. went out on me, so I can't use it right now. Okay, but well, explain what the smoker does. The smoker... Um, bees emit a pheromone it's like they can put like an attack pheromone that says get him and when they do that that's when the bees start all coming at you and uh, the smoke kind of masks that pheromone and that calms them down a little bit so that's why we do that with the smoker and unfortunately my smoker went out um, also it helps to it calms them down and it also will kind of push them away from the edges so when you put a box down you don't want to squish a hundred bees 
So you use your smoker and it kind of pushes them away because they don't like the smoke. And that's another use for the smoker. So I'm going to try to get my smoker relit and I'm going to let the bees calm down and take some yeah. notes and then I'll hit the bee yard again. Another way that calms them down is when we walk off and we walk away, the bees that are on us begin to go back to the hive. Um, and that helps too, because right now, um, I got bees on my phone. Do y'all see them? They keep poking my phone. That's intimidating. This is why I'm not the beekeeper. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my smoker with me, so I got to walk back over there. And as soon as I do, all the ones that have already left will be back on there again. Yeah, we're going to record that. So, all right. <laughs> he does have on lined pants. I kid you not. Um, and which bees, you know, honeybees are not aggressive. But when you really, really do a lot of things in their hive, they just do not like it. You know, they are girls, and we don't like it when people come in and rearrange our house. They don't like it either. Do you see the bee on my phone? Do y'all see her? Yep, there she is on my phone. Yep, she keeps walking across my phone. She's inspecting it because they don't like it. I've seen him, though, with hundreds of bees on him, and he just walks off ever so patiently. That might be why God made him my husband, because he's ever so patient. There he Those is. Too bad. I didn't get is that why God made you my husband, because you're ever so patient? I guess. Yeah. He ain't going to answer that, because I'm standing here. You said on camera before I got back here. But that you have to be patient with bees, and that might be why God made you. Uh, yeah. my husband because you have to walk off patiently if you start swatting at them they're gonna you're gonna get stung yeah and i had three hives open at once and you yeah. normally don't do that either but they're really not a, really normally aggressive but today shane's done a little much with them yeah, he done and made these girls mad every wife watching this went we totally get that we would sting you too. All right, y'all, I'm going to push pause so we can walk off and let the bees kind of settle down. Settle off of us for a little. There are a bunch of them. But I'm sparkling. <laughs> I'm sparkling. Woo. We'll be back. So, back in the car. I took my hat off because, you know, the bees are not in my car. They have been. I've transported. I have. I do transport bees in the car. Well, Shane does. But I still have my sparkles on. We have to be sparkly. Be joyful. Even in a bee suit. That's why you're a team. Even in a bee suit. But Shane, come back to the car to take notes and let the bees calm down. We do a lot of note taking. Well, Shane does a lot of note taking. Um, and it is so he knows what he's done in every hive. So we have close to 50 hives. So it helps keep us organized. So it helps us know what hive needs what and what we've already done. So it is important uh, to take notes. It's important to know what's going on in those hives because you can get very uh, confused in them if he does it. Now, he does all the notes. I occasionally will take a note on my phone or he'll record on his phone um, and record the note. Um, but he is, he's the beekeeper. I'm just the sparkle cheering him on. Because I don't, he does all of that. Um, but many times when I come with him, if I'm um, not in a bee suit and I'm just, a, you know, just going to go with him and sit in the car and kind of cheer him on, videotape for a little bit. I'll show you what I do. <laughs> I crochet. So I will take my little, um, this a green bowl came from Walmart and I keep what project I'm working on and everything I need for that project in my little bowl because you know, the yarn is easier to pull out when it's balled up like that. And it's easier because it's in a bowl and not rolling around on the floor. And I am working. I don't know if you can, if I can show it to you without messing it up, but I'm working on a skirt, a little crocheted skirt. So I, that's what I do. I pack my Diet Pepsi in my water bottle right there, and Shane's tea. 
we come prepared um, because there are times it can take hours um, and it gives me a little bit of time sometimes I'll go walk the road um, or I'll just uh, sit in the sit in the car and just take a pause I'll just be I'll just uh, spend some time with the Lord but I do enjoy it I really do beekeeping is very rewarding it is a lot of work um, and I'm really serious I don't know how he does it, but it doesn't intimidate him, doesn't faze him. I've seen him with hundreds of bees all over him, as it does intimidate me. Um, it doesn't seem to bother him at all, and he's a great beekeeper. He really is truly the best teacher I know, but I happen to think that's the call and the gift on his life is that of a teacher. Um, so he is very good at it. And, just kind of amazes me sometimes it really does well guys I'm gonna let you go I'm not gonna take you along for the whole journey but he's got like three hives up there open and I think there's six or seven um, he's been checking to make sure all the Queens are laying because it is swarm season um, and when the bees swarm we want to make sure that that the virgin queen that is left behind in that hive um, has gone out and, and gotten bread and came back and laying eggs and then we make sure that she her egg pattern is great. Um, so for you ladies, I'm going to tell you the queen sets the tone for that whole hive. That's what I love about beekeeping. She sets the tone for the whole hive. If she's mean and nasty, that whole hive will be mean and nasty. If she's moody, that whole hive is going to be moody and a lot of beekeepers if that queen is really mean and the hive gets really mean they will kill her and they will replace her with a new queen they won't keep her um, because they they won't deal with a mean hive and it's not very often we see a mean hive because the the majority of the time honeybees really are not aggressive but they don't you're going to get stung if you're you know you're messing with them you're swatting at them but she sets the tone, y'all. And that's what we do in our homes, ladies. We set the tone. We're either going to be the joyful, peaceful sparkle, or we're going to be the nightmare in the home. So keep that in mind throughout your day. We all have moments. We all have days when it's ugly, and we're ugly. I understand that. I have those days, too. But you really do set the tone in your home. Just like the queen sets the tone in her home. I mean, as a matter of fact, the bees, if they don't like even the way she's laying, if she's not a good queen, the bees will kill her. That blows my mind. If she gets so old, they kill her. That's a thought. Isn't that weird? So, let's be the queen bee of our homes that brings peace brings joy let's be that queen bee let's be that one well i will let you guys go thanks for watching and subscribing we do have all three channels we have the sparkling sisters the hawkins family and then the hawkins joyful bees so hopefully we'll see you on all three um, we do appreciate you guys thanks for coming along you can see the beekeeper back here <laughs> he's been recording his notes as he's been really busy because I'm going to get a lot of honey this year. So we're pretty excited about that. Thanks, guys. Have a great day and God bless.